okay so welcome back and in this video we are going to follow a little bit of a reverse path so till now what we have done is we had an equation and we tried to find a solution for the equation but here we will try to see that given a solution can we come up with an equation which satisfies the solution so in order to do that let us start with a simple example let us say that x equals 5 now when x equals 5 can I come up with a equation that satisfies the solution in a way we can do that so let us say that we start by multiplying both the sides by 3 so we get 3 times x equals 5 times 3 because we are multiplying so we get 3x equals 15 now if you see this is an equation 3x equals 15 and this satisfies the solution but I want to make it you know add some more steps so we will say let us add 2 to both the left hand side and the right hand side so what we do is we make 3x plus 2 equals 15 plus 2 which will in turn give us 3x plus 2 equals 17 now see this was equation 1 which satisfied the solution x equals 5 this is second equation which again satisfies the solution x equals 5 and how do you find out simply if you substitute x equals 5 in the left hand side of the equations you will see that you get the right hand side which is 15 and 17 in this cases in fact you can even try making equation in another way so let's say that we have x equals 5 right let us say that we divide both the sides by 5 so what we get is x divided by 5 equals 5 divided by 5 or the equation that we get is x divided by 5 equals 1 now if you see this this is another equation which satisfies the value of x equals 5 so when you put x equals 5 on the left hand side here which is this the left hand side you will still get the right hand side which is equal to 1 in fact you can modify this equation further by adding 1 to it okay so we can say x by 5 plus 1 equals 1 plus 1 now remember that we are adding the multiplying or dividing doing the same operation on both the sides of the equation to keep it balanced so in this case our equation will become x by 5 plus 1 equals 2 now if you try to solve this you are still going to get this it's you'll find out that x equals 5 is a solution for this equation right so when you put x equals 5 so this becomes 5 by 5 and 2 minus 1 becomes 1 so this is also a equation so now if you ponder upon this a bit and ask yourself this question that if we have a solution how many equations can we really make in fact you can make a huge number of equations from a given solution so for example we saw that x equals 5 which was our last example saying that this x equals 5 is a solution we at least made four equations straight away which satisfied the solution of x being equal to 5 therefore for a given uh, solution you can have infinite equations which satisfy that value so this was about how we can construct a equation if we are given a solution and the key learning here is that for a given solution you can come up with many 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 number of equations so if you are asked to make it you can just make one equation of your liking and that would be valid the only thing is your left hand side must evaluate to the right hand side let me just write it down here the left hand side 
must be equal to your right hand side when you substitute the value of x equals to whatever the number is given. In our case it is 5. So this was about how do we construct an equation or many equations provided we have a solution. See you in the next video where we will be discussing a few more examples, practical examples of algebraic equations.